हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्कार टू एवरी वन रेस्पेक्टेड गार्डियंस एंड आवर लवली स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस प्रोग्राम इट्स मी लेखनाथ खनाल द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ मेट्रो कैप्शन वी हैव मैनेज लर्निंग प्रोग्राम टू टू आवर लवली स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी आर डिफिकल्ट सर्कमस्टांसेस बिकॉज ऑफ पैंडेमिक ऑफ कोरोना वायरस डेट्स वही Uh, we have managed this television learning program particularly to the students that they are living at home uh, as you know that learning takes place everywhere uh, and then we have managed this program especially this student they can learn mathematics science nepali english and social studies in this program and here we welcome all of you i would like to inaugurate the program and hanover this uh, teaching materials to our teachers respected teachers uh, for the to launch the program forward and then again our lovely student you can learn whatever you want to learn with entertaining way and learn whatever you want to learn with an entertaining way and make your learning sustainable again i would like to inaugurate the program and hand over this uh, stage to our मैथमेटिक्स टीचर प्रकाश सुविधी सर एंड तेजबहादुर था सर थैंक यू वेरी मच ओके थैंक यू सर द चेयरपर्सन अफ मेट्रो पेप्सन गुड मॉर्निंग यू ऑल आई एम प्रकाश सुवेदी अ मैथमेटिक्स टीचर सो टुडे Uh, we are going to start virtual classes through this television uh, so i want to welcome my dear students and all the viewers uh, in this teaching learning activities so today i am going to teach standard 10 students and uh, we are going to start from algebra today as we know algebra is the backbone of mathematics A student who is good in algebra obviously he will be the best in mathematics this is why we are going to start from algebra and our lesson is you can see hcf and lcm so dear students uh in this unit hcf and lcm at first we are finding hcf and lcm of algebraic expression here in standard 10 but before this you already have uh, practiced so many questions related to hcf and lcm in junior classes from even from primary level in lower secondary level basic level as well we have already practiced some questions which are related to hcf and lcm and here we practice we find hcf and lcm of given expressions by using factorization method so you can see you might have seen the slide here okay so Uh, there are so many some examples i have given there you can see like 2x plus 4 is an expression 4 a to the power 4 plus 16 i am writing here like 2x plus 4 4 a to the power 4 plus 16 x square minus 4 3x cube minus 12. So many expressions are here. I think uh, you can see it in 50% part of uh, the screen also. So we today we are uh, going to learn about factorization, and after that, using the concept of factorization, we can find HCF and LCM. likewise
there are there are so many uh, expressions we need to factorize some expression may have a single term no need to, like uh, number 16 that can be factorized an expression having two terms for example 2x plus 4 4a4 4 plus 16 x squared minus 4 3x cubed minus 12x 8a cubed minus 27 x to the power 4 minus 16 a6 minus b6. Here I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 expressions I have written and uh, you can see there every expression has two terms only like 2x plus 4, 4a to the power 4 plus 16, x square minus 4, 3x cube minus 12x 8a cube minus 27, x to the power 4 minus 16, a to the power 6 minus b to the power 6. Here, the students, here you saw, these are the expression having two terms. At first, I am going to introduce you about the expression. Uh, later on, we will learn how to factorize this expression. Uh, you can write as well. I hope you are staying with me. Uh, with uh, your books, copies and pen as well so that you can copy some uh, expressions or some activities that I do here. Now, these are first examples I gave having two terms. Similarly, some expressions may have three terms that in our this lesson SCF and LCM we will factorize the expressions with three terms and some sample, some examples I am going to give here like you can see x square minus 5x plus 6 16a to the power 4 plus 4a square plus 1 2x cube plus 6x square plus 4x a to the power 4 plus a square plus 1 2x square minus x minus 3. So, dear students, I have just written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 expressions as an example. So, you can see here 1, 2, 3 terms, 1, 2, 3 terms. This every expression you can see first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. These five expressions are having three terms in the expression. So, this is the first type having two terms. This is the second type having three terms. Now I am going to write some expressions having four terms. For example, x cube plus x square plus x plus 1, a square minus b square plus c square plus 2ca 1 plus 4a plus 4a square minus 16a to the power 4 2x cube minus x square minus x plus 2. So, here in last example, the students, you can see here Let's count the terms 1, 2, 3, 4. Four terms are here. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms are here. So, these all four expression. First, second, third, fourth. These all four expressions are having four terms in them. Some expressions may have five terms. Some expressions may have six terms. And we must learn those expressions as well. But, dear students, before going to the expression with 5 terms and 6 terms, let's practice from these examples. And you have already learned, you have little concept about uh, this type of questions as you learned this in standard 9 as well as in standard 8 too. So, I gave you some examples. If you have copied, I am very much thankful to you. 
if you copy, you can practice by yourself too. And then obviously, I am here to help you how to practice later on. So now, let me, okay, the students, I guessed you have copied it. And this is just the introduction about expression. Don't worry, I am going to teach you like how must we factorize the expressions having two terms, how to factorize the expressions having three terms and how to factorize the expressions having four terms. Actually, I am going to give you some idea, some different idea for different expressions. This is why I have classified these expressions as per the number of terms so that you will feel easy to factorize different type of expressions. So, before starting, before we start the factorization, before we start the factorization, sorry, uh, let's multiply and learn something. For example, 1 a plus b a minus b. Now, I am going to multiply these two expressions a plus b and a minus b by simple multiplication that you have already known in junior classes also you have studied about the uh, multiplication. So, look how we multiply at first we multiply this a minus b by a this a should multiply second expression a minus b and then second term this you can see plus b is here plus b also multiply a minus b. Now a multiplied a it is a square in the middle there is minus a multiplies a multiplies b that is simply a b now here is plus you know plus into plus is always positive so plus b into a it is b a actually uh, simply if you think like if a into b is a b then b into a simply you can write b a but you know in case of multiplication uh, 3 into 4 the product is 12 4 into 3 the product is 12 it means both mean the same 3 multiplies 4 means 4 multiplies 3 both means the same this is why here even though here b and a are multiplied we can write it a b and in mathematics it is good to remember one cyclic order cyclic order means a b c if we multiply a and b or if we multiply b and a in both case we write a b when we multiply b and c or we multiply c and b in both the case we write b c Similarly, when we multiply C and A or we multiply A and C, in both case it is good to write the product C A. So, A B, B C, C A is the good order. It does not mean that you cannot write B A, A C and C B. You can write, but this is the good order if you write A B, when this to multiply, write A B. When these two are multiplied, write BC and when these two are multiplied, write CA. Make your habit of writing this. This is a good cyclic order in mathematics. So, okay, I was here last time. Here B multiplies A, it becomes AB. Now plus and minus, it becomes minus. Plus multiplies minus, it becomes minus. B multiplies B, it becomes B square. Okay. Now, this is AB. 
this is also AB. Their signs are just opposite. One is positive, one is one is positive, one is negative. So we can cut them. And here also, let me remind you, there we cut. It means it that is the case like this. Three plus three minus three. If you subtract three from three, what is the result? Obviously zero. This is why, in our level, what we are doing? If three and minus three, we see. While simplifying, if we get the same terms having two opposite terms, opposite signs, we got the same terms, but they are having opposite sign. In such case, we can cut, and again the result is zero. Okay. Now, first term is a square. Last term is b square. Middle these two terms are cut off, so remaining terms a square minus b square. This is why we you have been learning one formula. The formula is a square minus b square is equal to. Let's see here. We multiplied these two vectors and we got the product this. It means the a formula of a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. So this is the first formula we have got. Practically, we checked. You have already used this formula many times. Sorry. The students, technically, is first first day. We have got some uh, management problem. Uh, sorry for that. So we got one formula that is a square minus b square equals a plus b and a minus b. Now let's go to the next one. A minus B, A square plus A B plus B square. Now, can you multiply these two factors, A minus B and A square plus A B plus B square? Can you factorize? Yes, of course, because you are at ten now, so you have already learned this sort of multiplication in basic levels too. But it's okay; it's a revision, so I'm going to show you this multiplication as well. Like just before what we did, similarly, here this a multiplies to a square plus a b plus b square. Now this minus b minus b should multiply a square plus a b plus b square. Okay, this a multiplies all. Second expression minus minus b multiplies all second expression. Now a into a square. The result is a cube plus a into a. It is a square. Next term is b there plus. A into b square, that is a b square. Now minus one very easy rule. Look, when when you now we are going to multiply this expression, which is in the bracket. We are going to multiply this expression by b, and b is negative. One rule you can remember: if you open the bracket with the help of negative sign, remember it is so easy. Change all the sign. 
when we remove the bracket, when we remove the bracket with the help of this negative sign, we change all the signs inside the bracket. Like here it is plus becomes minus. It is plus becomes minus. Similarly, uh, vice versa you can say, if it was minus, it would be plus. While removing the bracket with the help of this minus sign. Let's see. And last time, I just told you about one good cyclic order. If A and B are multiplied or B and A are multiplied, in both the case we write AB. AB, BC, CA. That is a good cyclic order. I hope you have remembered. So B into A square, but we are writing A square B. We are following the good cyclic order of mathematics. Negative sign, it changes. This is plus, minus into plus becomes minus. A is A, 1B is here, 1B is here, it becomes B square. Now, minus and plus, it is minus. B and B square, it becomes B cube. Okay, do you understand? Or should I repeat? Look here, by plus A we have multiplied. So, what was the sign of the terms? Remain the same. Plus remain plus, plus remains plus. But in second case, we have we have multiplied this expression in the bracket by negative b. This is why all signs are changed. Plus becomes minus, plus becomes minus. In front of a square also there is plus and it also becomes minus. So remember this point as well. Now let me see like terms a square b is here, a square b is here. Similarly, a b square is here, a b square is here. You saw these are the like terms, but these are the same terms exactly, exactly same terms and they are having different sign. This is a square b, this is a square b, term same but sign different. In this case, as here we cut, here as well we can cut. Similarly, a b square, a b square, first one is positive, second one is negative, we can cut it. Then we got another result here. Here is a cube minus there is b cube. Hence, we got next formula dear students. See, a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. So, this is the second formula. You might have known it and you have got the relation between factorization and multiplication. If you factorize, if you factorize the product, you get these two factors. If you multiply these two factors, you get the product as a cube minus b cube. Here, in one way, we have proved that a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square. Similarly, just three example only I will give. Third one is a plus b, a square minus a b plus b square. So, little different only and you might have guessed what may be the result because you are familiar with this formula. This is simple formula you have been using actually from standard 8 perhaps or 7 as well. Here also we repeat the same process from by this A we multiply second expression. Again, by plus b is here, plus b should multiply, b square. So, there you can see, here a is multiplying, this first one a is multiplying, that all second expression, and in second case, this b is multiplying all that expression. Now, let us see the product. 
a into a square it is a cube minus a into a b a two a are there and single b is there here a and b square plus a is single then b square plus b and a square as i told you that cyclic order here again b and a square are multiplied being multiplied but we write a at first so it becomes a square into b minus a is single this one b this one b b square two b are multiplied so it is b square plus b and b square it becomes b cube again let's see the like terms this is a square b negative this is a square b and sign in front of this term is minus negative another a square b is here these two terms are same but their signs are different so we can cut these two terms next this is ab square this is also ab square so both the terms are same but their signs are different so let's cut these two as well now what is left a cube and at last you can see plus b cube again the third formula we have got that you are familiar with a cube plus b cube equal a plus b a square minus ab plus b square so i have just shown you this three formula and then we multiplied we multiplied these two factors and we got a square minus b square when we multiplied these two we got a cube minus b cube when we multiplied these two we got a cube plus b cube this way this way uh, we have got three formula here and uh, you are familiar with this three formula already so now i am uh, not taking your time by multiplying all all such formula i am going to summarize some formula i guess you will practice it at home Okay, dear students, it is good. It will be very good, in fact, if you stay with pen and copy and practice along with me. Mathematics, you can learn only by practicing. It's not like theory class telling story and learning everything. Mathematics depends on how well you practice. Okay, so now fourth one: a plus b, a plus b. if you multiply these two factors can you say what you get yes obviously you can the product will be simply it is a plus b whole square and you will get the result as a square plus 2 ab plus b square so let's summarize some formula that you have already been familiar with five a minus b a minus b and uh, i request you all to multiply this two this two and get the result this is your homework now a minus b whole square 2 a minus b are there it means a square minus 2 ab plus b square similarly a minus b again a minus b again a minus b 
you can see 1, 2, 3. A minus B whole cube. And the result you will get A cube minus 3A square B plus 3AB square in minus B cube. It can be written as A cube minus B cube minus 3AB is common A minus B. Similarly, another one A plus B, A plus B, A plus B means A plus B whole cube and its formula will be formula means the result if you multiply 1 2 3 you will get this result a cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube then this also it can also be written as a cube plus b cube plus what is common here you can see 3AB is common remaining A plus B. These are the formula you need not only in algebra in other portion of mathematics as well. Now the last one I want to show you by factorizing. Actually this is not the formula. This is not the formula but most of the students get confused with this product like uh, if I tell you to write what what may be the um, result like some of you obviously will write a4 minus a square b square plus b4 and some of you may write b square plus b4 so, dear students, here this is your homework. You will multiply these two and get the result. And similarly, you will do for 4 number, 5 number, 6 number, and 7 number. Please do it at home. Now, this 8 number, let's discuss. I have already told you we don't use this product as formula. We can use uh, 1 to 7. 1 to 7 we can use as formula, but in case of this eighth one, we do not use their formula directly. But this is the important place, like this is the place where students may make a mistake. This is why I am going to show you what is the product. I am sure at least some of you have guessed first one and some of you have guessed second one, maybe the result. Now let's see what comes the result by actual multiplication by this a square a square plus a b plus b square again this minus a b a square plus a b plus b square then plus b square a square plus a b plus b square you can see separately separately by first three terms one, two, three terms. Separately, by first three terms of first expression, we have multiplied the second expression. And now, as as I already uh, did some examples, so I guessed you can say what is the product of a square and a square. a square, a square. Two a's are here, two a's are here. Total, there are four a's are multiplied. Plus, two a's are here single a is here it becomes a cube b plus the sign should not be changed because this a square is positive this term positive no sign change this term negative all sign change look how easy to remember if this one is positive change all the sign inside the bracket if this one is negative sorry if this one okay once again please if this one is positive do not change the sign. This sign remains the same. Look, positive remains the same. But here this term is negative. 
a square b square it becomes a square and b square now minus came here minus when we remove the bracket with the help of this minus sign we change all the sign removing bracket with minus sign please change all the sign if you are going to remove if you are going to remove the bracket with the help of positive sign please let the sign inside the bracket be same now here we are removing by negative sign so a and a square becomes a cube b this plus becomes minus because we are removing bracket by the help of this negative sign minus a into a a square b into b b square minus plus minus a is a b square and b 2b and 1b it becomes b cube plus again b square and a square but we remember the cyclic order b square and a square are multiplied but we write a square b square positive positive plus this is a 1b is here 2b's are here b cube again plus because we are removing bracket by plus sign removing bracket by plus sign is easy we leave whatever is the sign inside the bracket now b square and b square it becomes b to the power 4 again let's it's time to source the like terms if any a square b square positive a square b square negative a cube b cube positive a cube b cube negative yeah we can cut a cube b a cube b positive and uh, a cube b negative look a cube b positive cut with a cube b negative similarly a square b square positive a square b square positive is cut with a square b square negative again look this is a b cube negative this is a b cube positive we can cut now let's write the remaining terms a4 plus a square b square plus b4 a4 plus a square b square plus b4 in the beginning i had asked you a question if you multiply these two which one you will get as the answer and i had said you many of many of you may guess the first one because it seems to be like a square into a square a4 correct a b a b a square b square plus minus minus b square b square b4 plus 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 it looks like the product may come this but look this is wrong this is why mathematics is interesting you know this is why uh, algebra is interesting what you see it doesn't happen you must do mathematics is to practice so this is wrong this is right and we have got this is we we may not use this as the formula but this is one important expressions so we got a4 plus a square b square plus b4 equal a square minus ab plus b square and a square plus ab plus b square in this way i have shown you some example and uh, uh, you learned that multiplication and factorization they are reverse to each other if you factorize the product if you factorize the product you get these two expression if you multiply these two expression you get this as the product so they are reverse to each other okay so in the beginning uh, in the beginning 
I had uh, shown you, I had shown you so many examples in around uh, 12 examples, 12 different expressions I had written here. And I had told you that this expression we will learn later. Before that, we must have some concept, some concept about the formula, some concept about the factorization, some concept about the relation between multiplication and factorization. Now, we are going to, as we are learning HCF and LCM by factorization method. This is why we need to know how to factorize different expressions. The expressions with two terms, expressions with three terms, expression with four terms and many more. So let's begin from, let's begin from factorization of expression with two term and that you might have known as you have learned it in previous classes too but let me revise it. Okay. So when there are two terms, how to factorize um, how to factorize when there are two terms that I will teach you but next day. I should be sorry here. You know, uh, Mr. Pepson has started Mr. Pepson has started this teaching learning process from virtual program as a virtual program you are learning uh, in this Abhyan television. So uh, today uh, I was uh, about to start factorization but unfortunately my time I have got a signal that my time is over so thanking you for learning with me uh, and uh, telling you that I will come again tomorrow I want to end my session here thank you namaste goodbye see you tomorrow परिस्थिति जस्तो हो सधै अघि बढ्छ इसुजु पिका पावर स्टाइल र अफरोड को राजा हो इसुजु पिका जपनिस प्रविधि र 100 वर्ष भन्दा बढीको विश्वास बोकेको नेपालकै सर्वाधिक बिक्री हुने इसुजु प्रिमियम पिका तपाईको व्यापार र व्यवसायले पाउने छ नयाँ गति नयाँ उचाई 1 लाख किलोमिटर वा 3 वर्षको वारन्टीको साथ एक्सचेन्ज र फाइनान्सको सजिलो व्यवस्था सँगै हरेक टेस्ट ड्राइभमा स्योर गिफ्ट पाउनु होस् चितवन को लागी आधिकारिक बिक्रेता अभियान मोटर्स प्राली बाल मंदिर चोक भरपूर चितवन शंपर का जीर्ष अपन बाज बाद तीस नौ से और सट्टी जीर्ष अपन पाज अठाइस तीन जे सत्तरी मोबाइल नमर अंठार पे पाज पचास अंठों नो सासे पचास इसु जू नेवर स्टाप काठमंडो अब अल्पाइन पोलिक्लिनिक प्राली फरतपुर मा बीर अस्पताल काठमंडू का परिष्ट सुगर थाइरेट तथा हर्मन रोग पिशसग्य डाक्टर बुद्ध बादुर काकी प्रतिक महिना को तेस्रो सुक्रबार रा सनिबार KMC Medical College काठमंडू का परिष्ट न्यूरो फिजिशियन डाक्टर किष्ण � बीर अस्पताल काठमांडू का वरिष्ठ बाथरोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर अंजल बिष्टा प्रत्येक महिना को पहिलो शुक्रबार र शनिबार साथै दैनिक रूपमा प्रमुख स्त्री तथा प्रसूति रोग विशेषज्ञ 
डॉक्टर श्री प्रसाद अधिकारी वरिष्ठ नवजात शिशु तथा बाल रोग विशेषज्ञ डॉक्टर ओम प्रसाद पाठक वरिष्ठ जर्नल फिजिशियन वरिष्ठ हार्ट जोनी तथा नशा रोग विशेषज्ञ वरिष्ठ मानसिक तथा लागू औषध रोग विशेषज्ञ वरिष्ठ छाला तथा यौन रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर को सेवा उपलब्ध छ ठेगना अल्पाइन पोलिक्लिनिक प्राली भरतपुर दस बस बात चो परिवार नियोजन संग गाड़ी फोन जीरो छः पर नौ पांच तीस पांच से नौ बे मोबाइल नंबर अंठाना बीस चार से पचास पचपन नौ दूसरे छः सत्ती और क्या धुनिक प्रविधि बात रो दांत को उपचार अब हेल्दी स्माइल जिंटल केयर सेंटर मा दक्षे तथा अनुभवी दांत को खोल राखने स्माइल मेक्स ओवर पद्धति द्वारा नमिले को छिद्र दांत मिलाउने तथा दांत नभए को ठाउँमा फिक्स दांत राखने मुख तथा गिदा सम्बन्धी उपचार मुख को साधारण शल्यक्रिया गरिने आधुनिक प्रविधिमा कम्प्युटर द्वारा चेक जाँचका साथै बिरामीहरूलाई दन्त सेवा हरेक दिन बिहान 9 बजे देखि साँझ 6 बजे सम्म पुनश्च जूम टूथ व्हाइटनिंग पद्धतिबाट पहिलो दांत भएका बिरामीहरूको 1 घण्टामै सफल उपचार संपर्क हेल्दी स्माइल डेंटल केयर सेंटर भरतपुर दास हाकिम चौक मोबाइल अंठानबे एकचालीस उनानसाठी अंठानबे चालीस तवाई को हाथों में मीठो पन कलागी हेल्दी स्माइल के तपाईं कुनै पनि स्वास्थ्य समस्याबाट पीडित हुनुहुन्छ यदि हुनुहुन्छ भने तपाईं हाम्रो शहर नारायणगढमा साइड इफेक्ट बिना नै सफल उपचार गरिने रुपाली होमियो तथा रोहित आयुर्वेद औषधालय नारायणी किनार पुलचोकमा आई स्वास्थ्य लाभ उठाउनुहोस् हामीका उपचार गरिने रोगहरू बिना अपरेशन पाल्स पिनास पत्थरीको सफल उपचार गरिने नसा च्यापिएको हड्डी खिएको पाठेघरमा सिस्ट ट्युमर फलाएको प्रोटेस्ट बढेको मासु फलाएको मुसा कोठी डन्डीफोर अनुहारको चाया पोतोको सफल उपचार गरिने पेट सम्बन्धी रोगहरू जस्तै ग्यास्ट्रिक अपच कब्जियत आदि नाक कान घाँटी आँखा सम्बन्धी रोगहरू स्त्री रोगहरू जस्तै महिनावारी गडबडी सेतो पानी बग्ने तल्लो पेट दुख्ने आदि पुरुष सम्बन्धी रोगहरू जस्तै शीघ्र स्खलन यौन दुर्बलता धातु विकार नपुंसकता आदि छाती सम्बन्धी रोगहरू जस्तै दम रुगा खोकी निमोनिया साइनसाइटिस ब्रोंकाइटिस आदि बाल रोगहरू जस्तै निमोनिया पखाला निन्द्रामा पिसाब फेर्ने आदि हार्ट जोनी तथा नसा सम्बन्धी रोगहरू साथै मानसिक तनाव टाउको दुख्ने मेनिनजाइटिस मेन्टल डिप्रेशन डायबिटिस जन्डिस प्यारालाइसिस हेपाटाइटिस ब्लड प्रेसरको सफल उपचार लगायत सम्पर्क रुपाली होमियो तथा रोहित आयुर्वेद औषधालय कैलाश पेट्रोल पम्पको अगाडीको बाटोको 20 मिटर भित्र उत्तरतर्फ नारायणी नदी किनार पुलचोक नारायणगढ फोन 0656332154 मोबाइल 9841911 मेज इंटरनेशनल एजुकेशन एंड वीजा सर्विसेज स्टूडेंट वीजा मा ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाने सोच मा होनों छा या स्टूडेंट डिपेंडेंट वीजा विजिट वीजा माइग्रेशन वीजा मा ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाने सोच मा होनों छा नेपाल देखी ऑस्ट्रेलिया सम्मा हम इच हों तपाईं को साथ मा ज्वाइन आवर टेस्ट प्रिपरेशन our features, professional advice in course selection, processing application for admission, guidance in preparing visa documentation, student visa lodgement and correspondence with the authority, travel arrangements, pre-departure briefing and many more. For more information, Mates International Education and Visa Services, your partner for education in Australia. Sahit Chok Nangar Chitavan, phone 056 Cinema Road Par Shah Chitavan, phone 056 Mates International in your city since 2008, trust the experience. I don't know. I अस्पताल लगेर उपचार गरे मात्र वहाँको रोग निको हुन्छ वास्तविक कुरो नबुझी यसरी कसैले पनि दोष लगाउन पाइदैन पक्लुस बोक्सी कोही हुँदैन अन्धविश्वासको कारण कसैले बोक्सी भनेर आरोप लगाउनु या सजाय दिनु जघन्य अपराध हो अनि यस्तो कुप्रथाको विरुद्ध एक भई लाग्नु 
तपाईं हाम्रो दाइ बोक्सा बोक्सी को आरोप लगाउने बोक्सा बोक्सी को आरोप लगाई बसोबास गरेको ठाउँबाट निकाला गर्ने सामाजिक बहिष्कार गर्ने वा अपमानजनक वा अमानवीय व्यवहार गरेमा 5 वर्षसम्म कैद र 50000 रुपैयाँ सम्म जरिवाना हुनेछ नेपाल सरकार संचार तथा सूचना प्रविधि मन्त्रालय के तपाईं फुट वर्तमान र भविष्य जान्न चाहनुहुन्छ त्यसो हो भने आउनुहोस् नेपाल ज्योतिष परिषद ज्योतिष दर्पणको कार्यालय भरतपुरमा हामी कहाँ वृन्दावनबाट अध्ययन पूरा गरी आउनु भएका ज्योतिष पण्डित लक्ष्मण सुवेदी द्वारा कम्प्युटर प्रविधिबाट चीना टिप्पणी बनाउने हेराउने ग्रह पूजा शान्ति शुभ रत्न धारण काल सर्प शान्ति पितृविद्धार एवं विशेष अनुष्ठान वैदिक विधि द्वारा गराइन्छ सम्पर्क ज्योतिष पण्डित लक्ष्मण सुवेदी नेपाल ज्योतिष परिषद ज्योतिष दर्पण को कार्यालय भरतपुर बारा चित वन जिला प्रशासन कार्यालय को ठीक अगाडी मोबाइल अंधान बेपात पचास थयालीस छह से अंधान ना रोगी लाइनी रोगी बनाओ दे खुशी बाढ़ दे सा बैठिक आयुर्वेद सेवा प्राली खुटा ले राम रुकाम नगर बांगी 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 वार तो लोग रुटे कर रहे थे बात है कि अब इन्हें ही ना सागर दिवाय पर सिर्फ पसेरी बात से तक वाने रे वो लोग घर पालो घर का सब ये ले जाएं वाने यार कहाँ जाऊँ कहाँ जाऊँ बहुत ये रेडियो ले जाएं वाने बहुत ही कार्य रुके वहाँ का भी डॉक्टर ले बनो चार जाने उचाले ले उन्हे� अरे पौषी जाएंगे जो दवाई खाई चाहिए रहा ये हिन्न थाले पर तो राम रो बहा हिन्न थाले से बोले तब पहले ठाउं लाए रहा दब पैसा बियाए रहा लास्ट टाइम आयर बेदी लागो भागे ही सा निज़ान पर निगाहते ऐसा हिन्न वाजा संपर्क बैद्यिक आयुर्वेद सेवा प्राली लाइन सुकनारंगढ़ फोन पांच एकतर एक सुन्न start the class 8 in compulsory mathematics chapter compulsory mathematics from algebra chapter today we are going to start the polynomial and degree of the polynomial The expression which has only one term is called monominial expression. For example, monominial expression 5y, 2a, 6ab, like this. Those are the examples of monominial expression. A student, please listen. Expression with only one term it has only one term so it is monominial expression and next one biominial expression expressions with two term expression with two term is called bionomial expression it has two term 2a plus 3b one term and another term here are 
two terms. So it is binomial expression. It is the example of AB plus XY. This one also. It is one term and it is also one term. It has two terms. So it is binomial expression. Next. Trinomial. Trinomial expression with it has three terms. It has three terms. 2a plus 3b plus 4c. Look at here, please, everybody, student. Look at the screen also, please. Screen. <coughs> x plus y plus 2. X plus y plus 2. 2 or j like this 1 2 3 term how many term are here here are 3 term everybody understand 1 2 3 term so it is trinomial expression it is trinomial expression it has 3 term 1 2 3 how many term are here here are 3 term so it is trinomial expression next Polynomial, an expression with more than three term. Expression with more than three term. Then polynomial expression. 2a plus 3b plus 4c plus y. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many term are here? Here are four term. So it is polynomial expression everybody student listen once more please monomial it has only one term binomial it has two term trinomial it has three term and polynomial it has four term dear students please everybody clear monomial bio tree and polynomial look at the slide please Dear student, please look at the slide in your screen. Everybody seen? Note. Root x plus 5. Please don't be confused. 1, 2 term. Don't say binomial expression. It is not binomial. It is not a polynomial because power of x, power of x, power of x is root x means it is also called x to the power 1 by 2. What is its power? Its power is 1 by 2. So, which is 1 by 2 is a 1 by 2, which is not a whole number. So, it is not a polynomial. Don't be confused, everybody. Student page. Next. X plus 1 by X. X plus 1 by X is not a polynomial. Because, and here also. 1 by X. What is the power of X? If you change this one, X to the power minus 1. In law of indices, you already know in your previous class, in class 7 also. So, the power of x is minus 1. Minus 1 is not a whole number. So, x plus 1 by x 
it is not a polynomial next everybody student look at this screen please the degree of the polynomial is the degree of its term of the highest degree whose coefficient is 0 look at here please x to the power 3 what is its degree so everybody think please what is its degree yes please its degree is 3 because the power of x is 3 so its degree is 3 and another example also please 4a cube plus 6a square plus 2a to the power 5 minus 3 what is its degree what is its degree and its degree is its degree is what is the highest power its highest power is 5 so its degree is 5 it is the required answer everybody clear or not and next example please 10 x to the 10 x to the x square y cube then what is its degree x square y cube z that is the product form so its power is 2 plus 3 plus 1 then what is the power of x 2 what is the power of y 3 what is the power of z it's 1 what will be some 6 so its degree is 10 x square y is cube z its degree is 6 its degree is 6 next one problem please if x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 and z is equal to minus 1 find the value of 3x cube minus xy plus 4y square solution 3x cube minus xy plus 4y square 3 is 3 then multiply value of x is 2 then whole power 3 minus x is what is the value of x x is 2 into y is 3 plus 4 then y is 3 then power 2 3 into 2 to the power cube it is 2 to the power cube means 2 3 times multiply not 2 3 6 that is mistake please everybody student listen 2 3 times means 2 into 2 into 2 so its product will be 8 2 to the power cube means 8 don't be confused 2 into 3 it is mistake minus 3 to the 6 plus 4 is 4 and here also 3 square means 3 2 times multiply 3 into 3 not 3 into 2 that is mistake please 3 into 3 it is 3 2 times multiply means 3 into 3 it will be 9 8 3 is 24 minus 6 plus 9 4 is 36 I need to hear this one 
10 carry over 1 and 3 5 5 1 6 60 minus 6 result will be 54 is the required answer student please please everybody student you also copy please look at the here if x is equals to 2 y is equals to 3 and z is equals to minus 1 find the value of 3x cube minus xy plus 4y square 3x cube minus xy plus 4y square it is the questions 3 is 3, value of x is 2, then power 3 minus x is value 2 and y is value 3, then plus is plus, 4 is 4 into y means value 3 square. 8 into 3 minus 3 to the 6 plus 4 is 4 and 3 square means 3 into 3, the result will be 9. 8 3 is 24 minus 6 plus 9 for the 36. Both are plus sign, so it will be added. 60 minus is minus and 6. Here is the different sign, so it is subtract to each other. 60 minus 6 is 54. Next please student, look at the screen please. Find the polynomial in the following expression, 1a, x plus 2, which one expression it is, x plus, x plus 2, x plus 2, x plus 2, everybody Student, look at the screen page. X plus 2. X plus 2. How many expression here? It is 2 expression. So, what is it called? Monominial, biominial, tree and polynomial. Which expression it is? Please, write the answer and continuously B, C, D, same on homework. Please. Next, number 2. Find the degree of the following expression. Find the degree of the following expression. Let's say 2a please. 2a, 2ab. What is its degree? What is its degree? Now, power of a is 1, then power of b is 1, its degree is 2. Please. Question number 2. Find the degree of the following expression. 2ab. What is its degree? Its degree is so. Its degree is 2 and continuously B, C, D, same on all marks. And next, question number 3. If x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 1, find the value of A and B, same on similarly. You practice, this one is homework. And dear students, please, if you have any problem, please contact my email address please tapa19 at the rate gmail.com please if you have a problem please send me email yes dear student please copy down the homework please and today only this much please just uh, short time that is the uh, first day please uh, you copy the homework please look at the screen
Mates International Education and Visa Services Student Visa in Australia is a very important thing. Or Student Dependent Visa, Visit Visa, Migration Visa in Australia is a very important thing. Nepal Diki Australia Sama Hami Chomu Tapanku Satma Join our test preparation classes IELTS PTE Our features Professional advice in course selection Processing application for admission Guidance in preparing visa documentation Student visa lodgement and correspondence with the authority Travel arrangements, pre-departure briefing and many more for more information, Mates International Education and Visa Services, your partner for education in Australia. Sahitsuk Nangar Chitavan, phone 056-571-182. Cinema Road, Parsha Chitavan, phone 056-583-454. Mates International in your city since 2008. Trust the experience. <laughs> जस्तो हो सधैं अगि बढ्छ इसुजु पिका पावर स्टाइल र अफ रोड को राजा हो इसुजु पिका जापानीज प्रविधि र सय वर्ष भन्दा बढीको विश्वास बोकेको नेपालकै सर्वाधिक बिक्री हुने इसुजु प्रिमियम पिका तपाईको व्यापार र व्यवसायले पाउने छ नयाँ गति नयाँ उचाइ 1 लाख किलोमिटर वा 3 वर्षको वारन्टीको साथ एक्सचेन्ज र फाइनान्सको सजिलो व्यवस्था सँगै हरेक टेस्ट ड्राइभमा श्योर गिफ्ट पाउनुहोस् चितवन का लगी आधिकारिक बिक्रेता अभियान मोटर्स प्राली बाल मंदिर चौक भरपूर चितवन शॉपर का जिल सपना पांच बार तीस नौ सौ आठ सौ ठीक जिल सपना पांच अठाईस तीन जे सात तेरी मोबाइल नंबर अठारह बी पांच पचास अठारह नौ सात सिक्स पचास इसुजु नेवर स्टॉप के तपाईं कुनै पनि स्वास्थ्य समस्याबाट पीडित हुनुहुन्छ यदि हुनुहुन्छ भने तपाईं हाम्रो शहर नारायणगढमा साइड इफेक्ट बिना नै सफल उपचार गरिने रुपाली होमियो तथा रोहित आयुर्वेद औषधालय नारायण किनार पुलचोकमा आए स्वास्थ्य लाभ उठाउनुहोस् हामी कहाँ उपचार गरिने रोगहरु बिना अपरेशन पल्स पिनास पत्थरीको सफल उपचार गरिने नसा च्यापिएको हड्डी खिएको पाठेघरमा सिस्ट र ट्यूमर फलाएको प्रोटेस्ट बढेको मासु फलाएको मुसा कोठी डन्डीफोर अनुहारको पोतोको सफल उपचार गरिने पेट सम्बन्धी रोगहरु जस्तै ग्यास्ट्रिक अपच कब्जियत आदि नाक कान घाटी आँखा सम्बन्धी रोगहरु स्त्री रोगहरु जस्तै महिनावारी गडबडी सेतो पानी बग्ने तल्लो पेट दुख्ने आदि पुरुष सम्बन्धी रोगहरु जस्तै शीघ्र स्खलन यौन दुर्बलता धातु विकार नपुंसकता आदि छाती सम्बन्धी रोगहरु जस्तै दम रुगा खोकी निमोनिया साइनसाइटिस ब्रोंकाइटिस आदि बाल रोगहरु जस्तै निमोनिया पखाला निन्द्रामा पिसाब फेर्ने आदि हाड जोडी तथा नसा सम्बन्धी रोगहरु साथै मानसिक तनाव टाउको दुख्ने मेनिनजाइटिस मेन्टल डिप्रेशन डायबिटिस जन्डिस प्यारालाइसिस हेपाटाइटिस ब्लड प्रेसरको सफल उपचार लगायत सम्पर्क रुपाली होमियो तथा रोहित आयुर्वेद औषधालय कैलाश पेट्रोल पम्पको अगाडीको बाटोको 20 मिटर भित्र उत्तरतर्फ नारायणी नदी किनार पुलचोक नारायणगढ फोन 0655232554 मोबाइल 9841911 स्वस्थ जीवन हमरो अधिकार हमी राख्छौ तपाईको स्वास्थ्य सँग प्रत्यक्ष सरोकार स्वास्थ्य सँग सम्बन्धित विविध जानकारी विशेषज्ञ डाक्टरहरुसँगको कुराकानी कार्यक्रम स्वास्थ्य अभियान समाजको प्रश्न तस्वीर अभियान टेलिभिजन समाजको प्रश्न तस्वीर अभियान टेलिभिजनमा कार्यक्रम लोक चौतारी
मंच होने मार्मिक भाग का अनि रमाइला भाग का हरु का साथ मा अभियान टेलीजन को लोकप्रिय कार्यक्रम लोक चौधरी लीएर हजर सामू आने गदु इस कार्यक्रम मैया का हार्दिक अनुरोध करदु हेन नभूल्होला कार्यक्रम लोक चौतारी गुणस्तरीय सीमेंट गिटी रोक बालुआ प्रयोग करी दक्ष प्राविधि को प्रत्यक्ष निगरानी में कंप्यूटराइज प्रविधि ढलान मसला तैयार पारी कंपनी ने नई ढलान कर छिटो छरितो गुणस्तरीय एवं अत्याधुनिक प्रविधि घर को जग पिलर छत पुल बाटो लगायत संपूर्ण संरचना को ढलान करीने सीमेंट गिटी बालुआ मिक्सर मिस्त्री खाना खाजा का साथ ही कुरा को झंझट बेहोर् नपर्ने दिन भर को काम दुई घंटाम सकिने न तो चुईने समस्या न तो फिनीसिंग समस्या भूकंप रहित ढलान का लगी एकमात्र विकल्प चितवन रेडिमिक्स कंक्रीट प्राली भरतपुर नौ गोन्द्राम बीस हजारी ताल जाने बाटो फोन शून्य छप्पन्न चार बीस एक छसठी मोबाइल अंठानब्बे चार पचास तिरपन्न जीरो इकहत्तर अंठानब्बे चार पचास चौरासी एक सौ सैंतीस अब हर एक निर्माण को ढलाई हमी जिम्मा दिए ढुक्क हो यो इंटरनेट ने हैरान बना हैरान नबना टेकमैन सोन भो अवश्य आउथेन अब चाह बुद्धि आए मेरे अब चाह टेकमैन जोड़ी हाल गुणस्तरीय भरपर्द हाई स्पीड इंटरनेट को एवट विकल्प टेकमैन अब अप्टिकल फाइबर को मध्यम तपाई को घर घर में नेपाल को सातवट प्रदेश में इंटरनेट सेवा का साथ ही डिजिटल आईपी टीवी हेन मिलने नेपाल को एकमात्र हाई स्पीड टेकमांड इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोभाइडर मुख्य कार्यालय शहीद चौक नारायणगढ़ चितवन बागमती प्रदेश थप जानकारी का लगी संपर्क फोन नंबर शून्य छप्पन्न पांच एकतीस दुई सौ बाईस पांच बाईस दुई सौ बाईस जापान को अत्याधुनिक प्रविधि द्वारा शिक्षण कर अब चितवन को लगी आयुष को जापानी भाषा को लगी समझने पड़ने एक मात्र कंसल्टेन्सी तो कंसल्टेन्सी हमी का हाँ ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्यानेडा अमेरिका और जापान का लगी ऑस्ट्रेलिया को भिक्टोरिया यूनिवर्सिटी संबंधन एकमात्र कंसल्टेन्सी कंसल्टेन्सी के 
तर्की पालो आत्मनिर्भर बनाओ यसको मासु विभिन्न किसिमका रोगी बिरामीहरूले पनि खान सकिन्छ जस्तै मुटुका रोग भएका बिरामीहरूले खान सकिन्छ त्यस्तै गरी युरिक एसिड भएका बिरामीहरूले खान सकिन्छ ब्लडमा सुगरको लेभल एकदम कम गर्नको लागि यसको मासुले निकै सहयोग गर्छ त्यस्तै गरी मोटोपन भएका बिरामीहरूले पनि यसको मासु खान सकिन्छ शरीरका लागि अत्यावश्यक टर्की हरियो घास खाने भाई दाना कम लगने छिटो बढ़ने रब खाली रोगी मानसले इसको मसु खान मिलने हुआ बजार व्यवस्थापन में समस्या न तस्त गरी धे मानी चिन्न धे टाड़ा टाड़ा बा आर यहाँ टर्की व्यवसाय को बारे में आर हे बुझ्ह बहुत खुशी लगता है इष्ट मित्र साथी भाई सर छिमे सब हेरी दृष्टिकोण निके राकी का चल्ला वा मसु चाहिए हमी समझ टर्की नेपाल भरतपुर महानगरपालिक वड़ा नंबर तेईस जगतपुर चोक संपर्क लक्ष्मण घिमिरे मोबाइल नंबर अंठानब्बे पांच पचास एक्सी नौ सौ एकानब्बे टर्की व्यवसाय के बारे में धे नलेज टर्की को मार्केट राम टर्की संपर्क नंबर पुनः एक पटक अंठानब्बे पांच पचास एक्सी नौ सौ एकानब्बे ज्योतिष पंडित लक्ष्मण सुवेदी द्वारा कंप्यूटर प्रविधि चिना टिप्पणी बनाने हेराने ग्रह पूजा शांति शुभरत्न धारण काल सर्प शांति पितृ उद्धार एवं विशेष अनुष्ठान वैदिक विधि द्वारा कराइ संपर्क ज्योतिष पंडित लक्ष्मण सुवेदी ज्योतिष परिषद ज्योतिष दर्पण को कार्यालय भरतपुर बारित वन जिला प्रशासन कार्यालय को ठीक अगाड़ी मोबाइल अंठानब्बे पांच पचास छयालीस छ सौ अंठावन वरिष्ठ विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर भरतपुर का ख्याति प्राप्त डाक्टर अब अल्पाइन पोलिक्लिनिक प्राली भरतपुर में वीर अस्पताल काठमंडू का वरिष्ठ सुगर थाइरोइड तथा हर्मन रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर बुद्ध बहादुर काकी प्रत्येक महीना को तेसरो शुक्रवार र शनिवार 
केएमसी मेडिकल कॉलेज काठमांडू का वरिष्ठ न्यूरोफिजिशियन डाक्टर कृष्ण ठुंगना प्रत्येक महीना को दोसों शुक्रवार र शनिवार बीर अस्पताल काठमांडू का वरिष्ठ बात रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर अंजल विष्ट प्रत्येक महीना को पेलो शुक्रवार र शनिवार साथ ही दैनिक रूप में प्रमुख स्त्री तथा प्रसूति रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर श्री प्रसाद अधिकारी वरिष्ठ नवजात शिशु तथा बाल रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर ओम प्रसाद पाठक वरिष्ठ जर्नल फिजिशियन वरिष्ठ हार्ट जोड़ी तथा नशा रोग विशेषज्ञ वरिष्ठ मानसिक तथा लागू औषध रोग विशेषज्ञ वरिष्ठ छाला तथा यौन रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर सेवा उपलब्ध छ ठेगाना अल्पाइन पोलिक्लिनिक प्राली भरतपुर 10 बसपाक चो परिवार नियोजन संग गाडी फोन 0659-530-590 मोबाइल नमर 98-450-55-266 सात सारे ईशु जो चाह ओपु ओपु उकारी चाह ओरानी चाह काठ माजी ते वारी चाह सुनवाद देखी कंधों पे सम्मा सात सारे ईशु जो सड़क का परिस्थिति जस्त हो सदै अगि बढ़ ईसुजू पिका पावर अटायर अफरोड को राजा हो ईसुजू पिका जपनीज प्रविधि र सय वर्ष भन्दा बढीको विश्वास बोकेको नेपालकै सर्वाधिक बिक्री हुने ईसुजू प्रिमियम पिका तपाईको व्यापार र व्यवसायले पाउने छ नयाँ गति नयाँ उचाई 1 लाख किलोमिटर वा 3 वर्षको वारन्टीको साथ एक्सचेन्ज र फाइनान्सको सजिलो व्यवस्था सँगै हरेक टेस्ट ड्राइभमा श्योर गिफ्ट पाउनु होस् चितवनको लागि आधिकारिक बिक्रेता अभियान मोटर्स प्राले बाल मन्दिर चोक भरतपुर चितवन शॉपर का जिल्स अपना पांच बार तीस नौ सौ आठ सौ ठीक जिल्स अपना पांच अठाईस तीन जैसा तरी मोबाइल नंबर और ठहरे पे पांच पचास और नौ नौ सात सिक्स पचास ईसुजू नेवर स्टॉप उफ यो इंटरनेट ने हैरान बनाया हैरान ना बना उस पंत की ना टेक मैन सोन वाइक वाइस तो आवश्यक है उठे ना अब जाए बुद्धि आए म अब चाहिँ टेक माइन्ड जोडिहाल्छु गुणस्तरीय भरपर्दो हाई स्पीड इन्टरनेटको एउटै विकल्प टेक माइन्ड अब अप्टिकल फाइबरको माध्यमबाट तपाईको घर घरमा नेपालको सातवटै प्रदेशमा इन्टरनेट सेवाका साथै डिजिटल आईपी टिभी हेर्न मिल्ने नेपालको एकमात्र हाई स्पीड भएको टेक माइन्ड इन्टरनेट सर्भिस प्रोभाइडर मुख्य कार्यालय सही चोक नारायणगढ़ चितवन बागमती प्रदेश थप जानकारी का लागी संपर्क का फोन नंबर सुनना छप्पना पांच एक तीस दूसरी से बाईस र पांच बाईस दूसरी से बाईस गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन ऑल द व्यूअर्स Students, especially who belong to class 8, are heartily welcome in the uh, live teaching program initiated by Metro Paths and Bharatpur. Uh, because of this pandemic that is being spread all over the world, we have been facing a bigger problem and bigger problem is today. Uh, especially the one which is student here, we have double mind and need to study well on academic matter have been disturbed a lot. So here, these steps being initiated by Metro Paths seems quite impressive and uh, through this platform the students who belong to classes 8, 9 and 10 and other classes also we are giving you content, academic content so you can even being stayed in a home you can well read on this matter so without delaying because I have been given I have been allocated quite least time uh, so different subjects should be taught here by the different teachers I uh, hope you understood uh, so let's begin without even delaying it. Uh, look at the screen, please, everyone. Uh, today, 
being a science teacher, I'm teaching you science subject. Uh, so I'm beginning with class eight. There is yes, later missed because of this software problem. You, uh, I think you understood that this must be science class, grade eight. And here is me, Manish Kimire, the science teacher. Uh, so I like to switch on the next slide. Look at there, please. Let me begin. The very first heading here comes to be fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities means something that is measurable, that can be measured, means instruments are required. If you have some sort of tools or instruments that are well designed, well designed by authorized agency who deals with waste and measure, through these devices, instruments, if you can measure quantity of something, then that is quantity, means something that is measurable. So fundamental quantities means what? Fundamental quantities means those quantities which can be measured and which do not depend on others. Fundamental means something that is very, very basic, something that is very, very basic and forms the fundamental of others means through these fundamental quantities other many innumerable quantities are derived are made are constructed and are prepared in the world you might have been with many quantities in your daily life also you come to deal with many other quantities uh, let me just talk about some quantities that you may be very well familiar with uh, you wait you may be hearing this word number of times you wait you may be wondering what is my weight what is that weight weight is quantity but let me suggest you weight is not a fundamental quantity it is because weight depends on other quantities only those quantities which do not depend on others which forms the most basic quantity are fundamental then the screen you can see the quantities which do not depend on others are called fundamental quantities. In other ways, it can be defined. See there, fundamental quantities are basic quantities through which many other quantities are derived. For example, length, mass, time, temperature, etc. I have just included there four examples, but there are some more fundamental quantities. You might have studied in your junior class, class 7 also. Uh, there are some others like current, uh, there are some others like uh, amount of substance, intensity of light and some others too. Especially, especially there are seven fundamental quantities that are well described in your textbook. Uh, you may go to your textbook and see there. Uh, let's move to the next one, the derived quantities. Derived quantities, I already said you, I already said you, derived quantity are those which are made up of number of fundamental quantities number of fundamental quantities means two three four and many other fundamental quantities can be combined together to lead out derived quantities let me take an example uh, if length is fundamental then length into breadth that is area is derived very simple to understand if length is fundamental then length into breadth forms derived similarly volume what does volume means you can see here volume means l into b into s look at here this volume requires three fundamental quantities to combine means what volume is derived but coming to this length because it does not depend on other it forms the most basic quantity of a volume this length is fundamental but volume I said because it is combined form of three fundamental quantities this volume is derived so let me move ahead uh, there in the screen you can see uh, force pressure work done momentum area volume acceleration etc these are some listed uh, derived quantities then they strain but there are so many others there are 
innumerable uncountable number of quantities have been discovered till at so let me show you one more time how we see the acceleration derived what makes pressure a derived quantity i just want to show you here pressure pressure formula you must know pressure means force upon area here look this force itself is derived quantity because it depends on two other further quantities like mass and acceleration let me show you mass and acceleration here a means area area means of course you know that is also derived quantity and it depends on length into breadth look here this mass is fundamental acceleration is not but let me for the fragment it into its formula change in velocity upon time here l into b if you go to look at this pressure you can see mass is fundamental length is fundamental b breadth is fundamental and these also can be further reduced into their fundamental terms this time is also fundamental look number of fundamental quantities are involved in pressure so pressure is derived quantity so coming to the summary of this portion fundamental quantities do not depend upon any other quantities whereas derived quantities are derived from number of fundamental quantities so uh, let's move to another slide i guess you understood well if you have any problem we will just discuss about it next time too there is assignment for you because i taught you about fundamental quantity and derived quantity just few seconds before here comes similar but little different terms here fundamental unit and derived unit with examples you can figure out yourself and is a time for you fundamental unit is here just before i talked about fundamental quantity what makes quantity and what is unit you may be wondering see quantity means something that is measurable i said unit means something or a reference that is used to express quantity let me just give you an example if you say weight it is fundamental quantity but if you express weight it is fundamental unit or maybe derived unit also let me come to mass mass is fundamental quantity but kg which is used to express it is fundamental unit let me take another example time time is fundamental quantity but second which is used to express time is fundamental unit unit is something that is used to express or that forms the reference to express quantity so you must not be confused on that matter a uh, fundamental unit simple to define those units which do not depend on other those units which forms the most basic unit similarly derived unit means like what we discussed on derived quantity derived unit are those units which are derived from fundamental units or which are formed from number of fundamental units by either multiplying it or by dividing it anyway you can write yourself this easier assignment i hope uh, i guess you do i wish you to do it well next slide please look at here there are seven fundamental quantities and their si units are also included there you may see in the very first point the quantity length is fundamental whereas its unit the fundamental unit is meter similarly then the second is mass mass is quantity and kilogram is used to express it so it is unit time is fundamental quantity and second is used to express it means it is fundamental unit look at the temperature in the point 4 temperature is fundamental quantity likewise kelvin is used to express it so it is fundamental unit there are some other also i have mentioned there you can see and you can copy it down in a copy uh seven fundamental quantities which are even mentioned in your book you may see you may go through your book 
are mentioned here too along with their SI units along with their fundamental units. So this is the end of a list of fundamental quantities along with their units. So what I want to make new is fundamental quantities are something that is measurable and that forms the very basic measurable quantities. Fundamental unit means something that is used to express fundamental quantities and here I showed you seven fundamental quantities along with their units. So move to next slide. Look at the slide there in the screen of your television. Uh, you might have seen the heading there, yes, I units of different quantities. There are again seven different quantities are listed there in the table. The seven quantities are their density, area, volume, force, pressure, work done, and power. These are all measurable quantities. And these are all derived from fundamental quantities. So these are all derived quantities. The SI units are mentioned here, just a side of them. Density SI units. I want you all to focus well on board ones, please. Uh, then the first of table, there is density. Density is derived quantity. Why it is a derived quantity is a question. You may be curious on this matter, see. Density. Density is expressed mathematically uh, by mass upon volume. See, density depends on mass. Mass is a fundamental quantity and it also depends on volume. Volume can be further expressed into length, into breadth, into height. This formula is written taking the reference of rectangular bodies, rectangular cuboid like bodies. See, density depends on four this it depends on four different fundamental quantity mass length breadth and height four quantities so it is derived quantities and to deduce it in the form of its unit let's see mass is expressed in kg kilogram volume means length into breadth into height so all these three quantities are expressed in meter you can see here kg is kg itself meter into meter into meter means of course meter cube so to write well in easier form in scientific way it comes to be kg per meter cube look at here why the unit of density is derived unit the reason is here because it depends on kg and meter two types of fundamental unit to explain more two types but four fundamental units are involved one time kg and three times meter because SI unit of density includes four fundamental units or two types of fundamental unit, one type kg and another type meter, its SI unit is called derived unit. And because density depends on different fundamental units, here you can see different fundamental units, it is derived unit. So I guess you understood. Similarly, you can find out the fundamental units involved in different other quantities listed in the table. Uh, let me take one more example. There comes uh, area in the second that you can do yourself. Volume in the third. Let me take force. Look at here in the board please. Force. Force means mass into acceleration. Force means mass into acceleration. Mass is fundamental quantity but acceleration is derived quantity. Mass is expressed in kilogram and acceleration is expressed in meter per second square. So together it forms kg meter 
per second square means SI unit of force which we call derived unit is kg meter per second square this is how we say the force to be fundamental sorry derived quantity and its unit to be derived unit to generalize at last listen to me whatever units are used to express derived quantity are derived unit and similarly whatever units are used to express fundamental quantity are fundamental units so let me move to another slide i think you understood the next slide include this is the question just now whatever i explained why some unit is fundamental and what makes some unit to be derived is written there as an example to you so that you can figure out answer of other questions that will be given to you all uh, given to you later uh, under the heading assignment see there the very first question there the SI unit of density is derived unit give reason I just before explained you all density density includes mass and volume you must know that density formula is mass upon volume because it is composed of a different fundamental quantities it is derived quantity the same is explained in the screen you can see look screen the SI unit of density is kg per meter cube it shows that it is composed of a two different types of fundamental units there the question is about unit so the answer also includes the term related with units the SI unit of density is kg per meter cube you can see in the board also SI unit of density is kg per meter cube it includes fundamental unit kg and three times fundamental unit meter if you say how many fundamental units are involved then you must say there are four fundamental units involved one two three four but how many types if you have to explain then it is two types only two types of fundamental units are involved in SI unit of density anyway it forms derived unit so next question in the screen the SI unit of force is derived unit Y like what I explained before the same is written there the SI unit of force is kg meter per second square then the screen you can see how many types of fundamental units are involved there how many types if you go to types then there are three types one type is kg another is meter and the second three types of fundamental units are involved but coming to the number how many total fundamental units are involved then you can count there one time kg one time meter and two times second so the forms four the multiplication or division of four different fundamental units so it is also derived unit now there is assignment for you because I taught you today the basic idea about what forms fundamental quantity what forms fundamental unit what is derived quantity and what is derived unit why length is called fundamental quantity and why volume is called derived quantity also I directly or indirectly taught you all so I'd like to present you some assignment that might have been displayed in your screen you can see here there are together six questions the very first question right as I units of each of the following quantities there are listed six or seven quantities there density area volume force pressure, work done, power. You have to write all the assignments in your own way. You can deduce yourself also like I did before. Second is the SI unit of density is called derived unit. Why? That was presented here as an example. You can copy down from there also, but better if you understand well yourself, then you do yourself. The third one also similar to second one, the SI unit of volume is called derived unit. Why? The SI unit of pressure is called derived unit Y. The SI unit of work done is called derived unit Y. And the last one, the SI unit of power is called derived unit Y. 
please look at the board. I'll just explain the last one uh, because this is the end of today's class. I'd like to again make you understand well on last question that is about power. In class 7 also you studied about power. Power means the rate of doing work. Look, rate of doing work means work done upon time taken. See, this work done itself can be resolved into its formula and that is force into displacement and upon time as it is. So, let us fragment force further into its, its formula that is mass into acceleration and here is yes s means a displacement let us write it as it is time means time itself going further mass means you know kg acceleration is expressed in meter per second square and this is displacement displacement is expressed in meter you must know that time means of course second so to further simplify it in easier way easier form kg meter into meter forms meter square here second minus 2 as it is in the power yes is as it is this yes and this yes to the power minus 2 can be resolved can be solved let me solve it further kg meter square as it is and on going this up you know the mathematics the law of indices yes minus 2 this comes to be minus 1 together the final form in which power is expressed is kg meter square second to the power minus 3. Look here how many types of fundamental unit are involved. Three types of fundamental unit are involved. How many? If someone asks you a question, how many fundamental units are involved there? Then you can count that. See, 1 kg, 1 time kg into 2 times meter meter into meter and see here three times second are involved means together there are one two three four five six fundamental units are involved so it is derived unit because it is made up of three types of fundamental unit that is six fundamental units to count so you can write other also in a way I explained now. I hope you do it well. Uh, you must utilize your time properly in effective sight. And the effective sight these days is always reading, studying, and of course focusing on your study. Uh, today this much. Uh, thank you very much. And bye-bye. रोगीलाई निरोगी बनाउँदै खुशी बाँड्दै छ वैदिक आयुर्वेद सेवा प्रणाली खुट्टा ले राम्रो काम नगरेर बाङ्गी 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 भएर चाहिँ लोहरु टेकेर हिँड्दे बाँदै यो अब हिँड्नै नसक्ने भएपछि कसरी बाँच्छ त भनेर ओलो घर पल्लो घर गा सबैले चाहिँ भने त्यहाँ कहाँ जाम कहाँ जाम भयो रेडियोले चाहिँ भने वैदिक आयुर्वेद वहा गएपछि डाक्टरले भन्नु चार जना उचालेर ल्याउनु भयो do you have a mounus? Hinnery Amunza, one of one more. And now one day, then you hear it and you drop us in. And a position you do a high sugar, you know, Halibusta, Ramrova, and not Halis. The poet, how lawyer, the poet, the air, last time I read the logo, back is on the Jan Penigotia, in the water. Some pork of Baitik Ivetsiwa Prali, Lysok Naran God, Pon, Pachi Kotar X Sunitar. Stone Kayot Krishna Hospital, Kolapur Central Hospital Pranima. Tom is a Ganta, Pitician Doctor Said, Akasmik Evum, I see Banda Seva. A theatonic question to wear us, what's the police and Lakosiva Haru? Yakoscopic Sotan Seva. Napton Kati Kot Krishna, which is not getting the word of Pazar to Sati, Cancer Roku Pazar Seva. No Satata, Hazori, CRM Saiko, Spinal Surgery Seva. Sana to Nasovic Hari Bimari Pazar to the office of Kosiva to Sati. Is the site of Dilas Evo Aram Dai Bed? Look at the site of Warhadu. Chevana, Waterpo Central Hospital Prali, Waterpo Dustiton, Yapo Gijagari. Four, 
समाज को प्रष्ट तस्वीर अभियान टेलीजन में कार्यक्रम लोक चौतारी मंच होने मार्मिक भाग का अनि रमाइला भाग का हरों का साथ मा दर्शक बिन नमस्कार मा हूं प्रतिक्षा कुवर अभियान टेलिविजन को लुक प्रिय कारिक्रम लुक चौतरी लिए रा हजार रुसामु आओ निकल दसु इस कार्यक्रम लाई माय कर ही दिनों में कल आगे हार्दिक अनुरोध कर दसु येर ना ना भूलनो होला कार्यक्रम लोक चौतारी काठमंडो का वरिष्ठ विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर हरू रा भरतपुर का ख्याति प्राप्त डाक्टर हरू अब अल्पाइन पोली क्लिनिक प्राली भरतपुर मा बीर अस्पताल काठमंडो का वरिष्ठ सुगर थाइरेट तथा हार्मन रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर बुद्ध बादुर काकी प्रत्येक महीना को तेसरो शुक्रवार र शनिवार केएमसी मेडिकल कलेज काठमंडू का वरिष्ठ न्यूरोफिजिशियन डाक्टर कृष्ण ढुंगना प्रत्येक महीना को दोस्रो शुक्रवार र शनिवार बीर अस्पताल काठमंडू का वरिष्ठ बाथरोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर अंजल बिष्ट प्रत्येक महीना को पहिलो शुक्रवार र शनिवार साथै दैनिक रूपमा प्रमुख स्त्री तथा प्रसूति रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर श्रीप्रसाद अधिकारी वरिष्ठ नवजात शिशु तथा बाल रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टर ओमप्रसाद पाठक वरिष्ठ जर्नल फिजिशियन वरिष्ठ हार्ट जोनी तथा नसा रोग विशेषज्ञ वरिष्ठ मानसिक तथा लागो औषध रोग विशेषज्ञ वरिष्ठ छाला तथा यौन रोग विशेषज्ञ डाक्टरहरुको सेवा उपलब्ध छ ठेगाना अल्पाइन पोलिक्लिनिक प्राली भरतपुर 10 बसपाक चो परिवार नियोजन संग गाडी फोन 0659530590 मोबाइल नमर 98400555266 Again, good morning everyone. This time I am going to teach you a portion from class 10. The very first topic in class 10 is, uh, you must know, you have uh, seen your textbook, there is force topic uh, or you can say that is gravitation, force of gravitation. It's me, Manish Kimire and here I am explaining this gravitation now. So, let us go to First slide. This is mentioned gravitation, force of gra gravitation. You can see there. Uh, either you say gravitation or you say force of gravitation. That means same. The force of attraction that exists between any two bodies due to their masses is called gravitation or force of gravitation. This force of gravitation term was first mentioned by. Sir Isaac Newton some 333 years before he discussed well about this gravitation term. He found the fact about force of gravity, force of gravitation, gravitational force and many more others. Uh, see the definition written there. The force of attraction that exists between any two bodies due to their masses is called gravitation or force of gravitation. To explain it, to explain it if anybody has mass, let me take example, two stones, whether these two stones are very small or they are very huge, no matter, if they have mass, then it is obvious that there comes to exist force of attraction. I mean to say, one stone attracts another, 
and Andrew Stone also tracks the first one. Likewise, sun attracts the earth, and the earth also attracts the sun. The moon attracts the earth, and earth also does the same with moon. Likewise, Jupiter, Saturn, and too many other heavenly bodies that you have seen in the sky, each of them are attracting each of others. So I mean to say, between any two bodies which have mass, the force of gravitation comes into existence. So, force of gravitation depends on masses of bodies. You can see in the picture here in the screen, see, in the very first picture, two smaller masses are shown. These two masses attract each other. Likewise, just down to that, two little bigger objects are shown. These two objects also attract each other. And this is done because of force of gravitation. Look at the next picture, which is colored yellow and blue there in the next side. The first one is little heavier or say bigger like Earth. The second one is like Moon, a little smaller. Its mass is indicated by small m, and the first one, the mass is indicated by capital M. There exists force of attraction between these two bodies. Look at the board, please, everyone. See, this is a body of mass capital M. This is another body of mass small m. Because they have certain mass, there exists force of gravitation between them. This body is attracted by this mass and this mass is attracted by this body. And the force of attraction is called force of gravitation. Means force of gravitation makes them pull each other in their side. And I said this force of gravitation depends on their mass and the distance between their center. That I'll explain later in the next slide also. Let us go to that slide now. Before that, see, you may be wondering, sir, if everybody is attract every other, means if everybody is that lie on the earth surface attract every other body, then why don't two stone lying close to each other on the earth surface? Say this is the earth surface, this is the earth surface, and these two are the stones lying on the earth surface. Then why don't we see one pulling another? Why don't they come close to each other and get attached? You may be wondering really. If there exists force of attraction between any two bodies in the universe, then why don't these three stones attract each other? This is the part to wonder. So, uh, see the screen again. Uh, then the yellow highlighted portion, just down the slide. If everybody attracts every other body with force of gravitation, then why don't two stones lying on their surface get attracted to each other? The same questions I explained. Look at the answer there. Be happy. There is the answer for you. The biggest answer, the biggest curiosity uh, matter this is. So let me read that, larger the mass, greater is the force of attraction and vice versa. Look at the earth, earth is a huge body, earth is a massive body. So it has greater force of attraction, it exerts greater force of attraction to the others. Whatever bodies are lying on the earth are relatively smaller if we compare with the mass of earth. So the force of attraction exerted by earth is remarkably more it's compared to all the smaller bodies lying on the earth see see the board this is the earth see it is very huge this earth attracts everybody towards its center see this is also attracted towards the center of earth it's compared to the force of attraction exerted by earth on these smaller bodies the force of attraction that exists between them is very feeble, very less. So we cannot see the result that they pull each other. It is because the gravitational pull of earth overcome the force of gravitation that exists between them. 
if this force was not enough to pull them down, we could see them attracting each other. So the same thing is explained in the screen, you see. Uh, two stone, whatever their size is, are smaller in comparison to the huge mass of the earth. The force of attraction between two stones is very feeble, so that no pulling effect is observed in front of pulling gravity of the earth. However, if one stone goes to the size of moon, and another stays very small, then we can use the large stone pulling the smaller one. Then the next paragraph, similarly, if there are two huge masses, like the sun, the earth, the moon, the force of gravitation between them would be very large. This is the reason that is the reason why moon revolves around the earth and earth revolves around the sun. It is force of gravitation or force of attraction that exists between the earth and the moon through which moon is revolving around the earth. Likewise, the force of attraction that exists between the sun and the earth causes earth to revolve around the sun. So, to finally conclude about the matter I discussed now, force of gravitation means force of attraction that exists between any two bodies in the universe. And force of gravitation come into existence due to their masses. So let me go to further slide. Look, I already said about this. It was Sir Isaac Newton who put forward this most famous universal law or most famous uh, gravitations concept here i'm going to explain you the most famous newton's universal law and that is newton's universal law of gravitation you may see in the screen this is the most famous law so it is a set universal law because it is accepted all over the universe it is applied well to all the bodies present in the universe uh, and you can see there it was uh, Sir Isaac Newton putting forward this theory quite three, 33 years before he did it. So move to next slide. Newton's universal law of gravitation. The most famous law introduced by Newton 333 years before. Let us first read this statement written there. It states that everybody in the universe attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. So listen once. What does Newton's universal law say? I'm going to explain again before that screen. This is one of the heavenly body of mass M1. This is another heavenly body of mass M2. According to Newton, the force of attraction exists between them. We call it force of gravitation. And universal law of gravitation states that the force of gravitation that exists between two masses is directly proportional to their product of masses. See here. I will explain later also. Before that, in short, force of gravitation that exists between them, the force of gravitation that exists between them is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Its mass is M1, is, is M2. So their product is M1 into M2. With that, force of attraction or force of gravitation is directly proportional. Means more the product, the greater is the force of attraction that come into existence there. The lesser the product value, the lesser is the force of attraction between them. So uh, let me take an example. If you consider Earth and the Moon. And in second case, if you consider the Jupiter and the Earth, of course, if you go just to the product of masses, the product of masses of Jupiter and Earth would be more. That would result 
greater force of gravitation between them than the product of masses of moon and the earth. So coming to second part of Newton's universal law, look at here, force of gravitation does not only depend on product of masses, it also depends on another quantity and that is distance between them that is measured from their center. See the center of first body is this and the center of second one is this. This is the distance between them denoted by D. And what Newton said is the force of gravitation is directly proportional to the product of masses and the force of gravitation is inversely proportional to the square of distance between their center. This is the distance between their center and with that distance force of gravitation is inversely proportional to the square of distance means longer the distance or farther the bodies are the lesser would be the force of gravitation. For example, you don't go to Mars just to consider distance. The distance between the sun and the earth is more than the distance between the earth and the moon. So if you consider just on the frame of distance, the force of gravitation would be more reduced by the distance between the sun and the earth than the distance between the earth and the moon. I mean to say, if these two bodies are kept double the distance here, like this, this is the force 1, this is the force F2. The force of gravitation here would be quite more than the force of gravitation here because the distance is quite more. So, farther the bodies are, lesser would be the force of gravitation. This is what Newton's universal law of gravitation. So coming to this screen, see in the screen, why it is called universal law? The topic itself is quite clear. You can figure out your answer yourself also. There is answer written, Newton's universal law of gravitation holds true for all bodies present in every nook and corners of universe. Wherever you go in the universe, whether you go to moon or you go to Jupiter or you stay in the earth, no matter, you are going to have same and equally applicable Newton's universal law. It holds true for all the bodies in the universe. No matter body is very small, like, like uh, fundamental particles, proton, neutron, electron, or very huge, like two huge stars in the universe. This law is going to be equally applicable for all those. So this is called universal law. Why universal? Of course, because it exists, it exists equally the same for all the bodies in the universe. It is equally applicable. And I said, there is also written the same. Whether the bodies are microscopic, uh, like fundamental particles of matter, or huge, like terrestrial or celestial bodies, stars, planets, comets, this law is equally applicable to all of them. That is why it is called universal law of gravitation. And this is also a very important question for you in class 10 level, especially in ESE. This question usually and frequently come, uh, so you need to understand this well. S uh, to simply say, it holds true for all the bodies in the universe. So, move to next slide. This is the last portion for today's class, and then after I'll conclude all this down. And this is very important, as I said before. Uh, the same Newton's universal law of gravitation, I am going to derive it mathematically in a certain formula form. See here, Newton's universal law of gravitation, the statement is written again there. Everybody in the universe attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. There is a diagram written just alongside. In a diagram there are two masses. See, the first mass M1, the second one is M2. The arrow pointing each other shows the force of gravitation exists between them. That is why they have pulled each other. 
The distance between them is indicated by small d just down. Uh, that small d indicates a distance between them from their centers. And they are just off. You can see the formula propounded by Newton's universal law of gravitation. F means force of gravitation equal to capital Z. I'll explain what capital Z stands for there later. M1 means mass of first body into M2 upon D square. See, this is the beginning. This is the way how you write your answer. If you ask the question derive Newton's universal law of gravitation, then you have to first state the statement as there. And diagram is needed to be plotted exactly like there alongside. Then let me go to next slide to show the next part of it. See, there's the derivation part written top. Let us consider two heavenly bodies of masses M1 and M2. See in the board, I'll explain through this. Let us consider two heavenly bodies of masses M1 and M2. Exactly like the figure in the screen. Two heavenly bodies of masses M1 and M2 are drawn in the board. The distance between them is d and the distance is measured from their center and according to newtons as I explained before between any two masses there exist force of gravitation say that be f f means force of attraction that exists between these two masses according to newtons universal law force of gravitation is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Product means M1 into M2. This is question 1, let's say. Means, more is the product value, greater is the force of attraction. Lesser the product value, lesser is the force of attraction. Similarly, force of gravitation is inversely proportional to the square of distance between their center. See here, I said before also, if two bodies are kept farther, the force of gravitation would reduce. If two bodies are kept closer, the force of gravitation between them would go on increasing. Farther the bodies are, lesser would be the force of attraction. Nearer the bodies are, greater would be the force of attraction. But at that time, masses must be configured same. So, look at the board again. Let us combine these two equations. If we combine these two equations, then you can write it like F equal to, F proportional to M1 and M2 in the numerator and D square in the denominator, you can see. And you must be well known that how to remove this proportional sign. This proportional sign can be removed well by introducing one constant here and that constant was also experimentally found by Cavendish that will be explained soon. On removing this proportional sign there comes to exist one quantity that is written in a capital form capital Z and others same M1 M2 upon D square. Now let me talk about this capital Z. What is this? Capital Z is called universal gravitational constant. Why it is called universal gravitational constant? Because its value remains same everywhere in the universe. So it is called universal gravitational constant. Its value is fixed. And that has been found experimentally and all those are same as it is the previous step. And let me further talk about this capital G. Then the screen also you can see capital G is called proportionality constant, called universal gravitational constant, and its value is found to be 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. I'll be explaining how does this unit come soon. 
this value I said was found experimentally and this is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. This is what we call the mathematical form of Newton's universal law of gravitation. From this expression also, you can find out on what two factors force of gravitation depend. Force of gravitation depends on these two factors. One is product of masses of bodies and another is distance between their centers. So, these two matters to the force of gravitation. The same thing being explained in the screen. This is the way how you write in exam. Uh, you need to first explain what you are considering in the picture. Let us consider two heavenly bodies of masses m1 and m2 and like that all the there. The first equation is force is directly proportional to the product of masses. The second one inversely proportional to the square of distance. Then we combine the in the screen you can see. We combine the equation i and i i. Then we got force proportional to m1 into m2 upon d square. And to remove this proportional sign, we introduced capital Z, that is called universal gravitational constant. Uh, and this is, I say, the final part of Newton's universal law of gravitation, the mathematical form of universal law. And capital Z's value, I said, 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. So finally, look at the board once again. Uh, then after, we'll conclude this matter. Look here. This capital Z and small z. I don't want to explain it much. So later we'll be doing that. But now you may be confused, sir, when to use capital Z, when to use small z, and are they similar or do they have similar value, or why capital Z is written instead of other uh, letter. So let me little try to clear you. Capital Z is, I said, universal gravitational constant. Its value is same and is fixed everywhere in the universe. But small z is not. This is small z you have seen even even in lower classes also like class nine, class eight also. Small z stands for acceleration due to gravity. This is acceleration, and this varies from place to place. This is not the fixed quantity like capital Z is. So, you should not be confused, you should not be confused, capital Z means universal gravitational constant and, and its value is fixed and its SI unit is Newton meter square per kg square as I have written here, but small z is acceleration due to gravity. Its value is not fixed because it is acceleration, its SI unit is meter per second square. Look the difference they are different from each other in many other aspects also that will be further explaining later in the next period to come but today uh, let me finally conclude all these matters i discussed today at first we talked about force of gravitation force of gravitation is something that exists between any two bodies and this force of gravitation exists because of masses of them two massless quantities won't experience force of gravitation and this gravitation was explained by Newton some 333 years before I said then we went to Newton's universal law of gravitation that is about how force of gravitation is related with product of their masses and the distance between their centers that I have written here, force of gravitation is directly proportional to the product of masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. Then we finally derived the expression force equal to capital Z, capital M1, capital 2 upon D square. This is the final expression derived from Newton's universal law of gravitation. See here, the details on Z is there, we will explain later. Uh, today this month I would like to show you some assignment uh, section for you. Uh, assignment there you can see. Uh, I want you to uh, copy all this uh, so that you can write answer here. Uh, being staying in your home. 
Define gravitation. Why don't two bodies lying on the earth are observed to be attracted towards each other? This answer also I explained to you before. Because the force of gravitation of earth overcome the force of gravitation between two smaller bodies. So two bodies are found not attracting each other. The third question there, on what two factors the force of gravitation acting between two bodies depend? I explained that too. I said you, force of gravitation depends upon two factors. The first one is product of their masses and second one is the distance between their center. Then the next question is, who propounded universal law of gravitation when? I already said you it was Sir Isaac Newton who propounded this universal law of gravitation 33 years before. You can calculate the exact year. State Newton's universal law of gravitation. This is the most famous universal law and we explained this also well. The last one is why is Newton's universal law of gravitation called universal law? Let me again say the answer. Because this law holds true for all bodies in the universe. Whether bodies are very small like fundamental particles.